Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra versus the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The biggest question that we are getting is, do I upgrade from the S23 Ultra to the S24 Ultra? Which, by the way, is right around the corner. The S24 Ultra is going to be released on January 17th according to the leaks. So that's just like a month away. So that's a valid question. The other question is, do I buy the S23 Ultra right now or do I wait for the S24 Ultra? Which is also another valid question. And in this video, we're gonna have that discussion. But before we dive into the discussion, take a look at these photos that were leaked on the internet on a Taiwanese website where they actually have the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra side by side from the top, the bottom, and from the side. And to be honest, as far as the overall design is concerned, they look basically the same. There are some subtle differences, but there's nothing dramatic going on. You can see on this picture, the S24 Ultra, which is the one at the bottom, has two microphones on its top. S23 Ultra has only one microphone on the top, but if you look at this other photo, the S23 Ultra, which is the one on the top, has two microphones at the bottom, two holes next to the USB Type-C port. The S24 Ultra has one hole. Clearly, that one microphone at the bottom has moved to the top. Beyond that, you can see that the S24 Ultra, that's a titanium color, by the way, it is going to be a matte finish around the edges. So we do know that the phones are gonna look overall the same basically from all angles with some subtle differences. For example, the S24 Ultra is going to have thinner and more even bezels, which is going to give it a more symmetrical look. So let's talk about one of the questions. Do I get the S23 Ultra right now or wait for the S24? That is going to be entirely dependent on whether or not if there is a good deal on the S23 Ultra. Last week, the S23 Ultra was 25% off. So in that case, I could have said, yes, you can buy the S23 Ultra right now because that is a very good deal. But that deal right now doesn't exist. So as of now, if that deal doesn't come back, it's probably best to wait for the S24 Ultra. Because again, as you know, when Samsung releases these smartphones, they also come with some amazing pre-order deals. The other question is, do I upgrade from my existing S23 Ultra to the S24 Ultra? To answer that question, let's take a look at some of the improvements on the S24 Ultra. Basically, when it comes to performance, you are gonna see a solid improvement up to 25 to 30% faster in CPU and GPU. So that's processing and graphics, you're seeing up to 30% more speed. So that might be worth an upgrade for the people that care about the latest and greatest. The other thing with the S24 Ultra, it is gonna have that titanium build that the iPhone 15 Pro Max had. So we are looking at an improved build quality on the S24 Ultra over the S23 Ultra. Again, this one is not that dramatic, but it's still an improvement. And the key is to add up all the improvements to see if they're worth it. Now, when you look at the display of the S24 Ultra, it is gonna be the same size with slightly more even bezels, but it's gonna have a peak brightness of 2,500 nits. Uh, on the S23 Ultra, it is 1,750 nits of brightness. So you are gonna see a major improvement in the maximum display brightness of the S24 Ultra. So that's one thing to look forward to as well. And finally, the S24 Ultra is gonna have all these AI features that most likely are gonna be initially exclusive to it, but might trickle down later to the S23. But there is a huge focus on AI features for the S24 Ultra, that might also make it an attractive package. We do have to see what these AI features are to make that decision because some AI is kind of overrated and overhyped, but if it is implemented correctly and benefits the user as far as their daily use of a smartphone is concerned, then it might be worth looking into. So we're gonna have to wait for that, but we are getting better performance, better build quality, AI features, 
and more. So it might actually be worth the upgrade, but again, it's all going to be based on one thing. If you are in a market where you get a great deal to give in your S23 Ultra, for example, $1,000 in trading credit, that might be worth to upgrade. But if you're not getting a huge deal financially to upgrade, then maybe you want to wait for the S25 Ultra. So these things are all dynamic. Of course, I'll be making videos, giving you updates on pricing, any kind of deals, and so on and so forth. So remain subscribed. And as we get more information, the answer to this question is going to be even more precise. Are the improvements going to be worth it? Okay. Uh, but for now, that's what we can tell you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.